Welcome to Wake Up With God channel. Daily Mass today will attend the Holy Mass on Wednesday 13th, March 2024, Wednesday of the fourth week of Lent. The Lord is kind and full of compassion. Please keep quiet and concentrate on attending the Mass. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My brothers and sisters, let's acknowledge our sins and so prepare us to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. May the venerable exercise of holy devotion shape the hearts of your faithful, O Lord, to welcome worthily the Paschal mystery and to proclaim the praises of your salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, and in the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The angel brought me, Ezekiel, back to the entrance of the temple of the Lord. And I saw water flowing out from beneath the threshold of the temple toward the east, for the facade of the temple was toward the east. The water flowed down from the right side of the temple, south of the altar. He led me outside by the north gate and around to the outer gate facing the east, where I saw water trickling from the right side. Then, when he had walked off to the east with a measuring cord in his hand, he measured off a few thousand cubits and made me wade through the water, which was ankle deep. He measured off another thousand and once more had me wade through the waters, which was now knee deep. Again, he measured off a thousand and made me wade. The water was up to my waist. Once more, he measured off a thousand but there was now a river through which I could not wade, for the water had risen so high, it had become a river that could not be crossed except by swimming. He asked me, have you seen this son of man? Then he brought me to the bank of the river, where he had me sit. Along the bank of the river, I saw many trees on both sides. He said to me, this water flows into the eastern district, down upon the Arabah and empties into the sea, the salt waters, which it makes fresh. Wherever the, water, the river flows, every sort of living creature that can multiply shall live, and there shall be abundant fish, for wherever this water comes, 
the sea shall be made fresh. Along both banks of the river, fruit trees of every kind shall grow. Their leaves shall not fade, nor their fruit fail. Every month they shall bear fresh fruit, for they shall be watered by the flow from the sanctuary. Their, food shall, their fruit shall serve for food, and their leaves for medicine. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. The, the Lord, Lord of hosts is with us. us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in distress. Therefore we fear not, though the earth be shaken and mountains plunge into the depths of the sea. The Lord, the Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. There is a stream whose runlets gladden the, the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. God is in its midst. It shall not be disturbed. God will help it at the break of dawn. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. Come, behold the deeds of the Lord, the astounding things he has wrought on earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. A clean heart create for me, O God. Give me back the joy of your salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to the Lord. There was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is in Jerusalem, at the Sheep Gate, a pool called in Hebrew, Hebrew Bethsaida, with five porticos. In these, large, in, in these lay a large number of ill, blind, lame, and crippled. One man who was there who had been ill for 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there, he knew that he had been ill for a long time. He said to him, Do you not want to get well? The sick man answered him, Sir, I have no one to put me into the pool. When the water, when the water is stirred up, while I am on my way, someone else gets down there before me. Jesus said to him, Rise, take up your mat, and walk. Immediately the man became well, took up his mat, and walked. Now that day was the Sabbath. So the Jews said to the man who was cured, It is the Sabbath. It is not lawful, you, lawful for you to carry your mat. He answered them, The man who made me well told me, Take up your mat and walk. They asked him, Who is the man who told you, Take it up and walk? The man who was healed did not know who he, it was, for Jesus had slipped away since there was a crowd there. After this, Jesus found him in the temple area and said to him, Look, you are well. Do not sin any more, so that nothing worse may happen to you. The man went and told the Jews that Jesus was the one who had made him well. Therefore the Jews began to persecute Jesus, because he did this on a Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The image that we hear in Ezekiel in our first reading this morning is the life-giving water, the water that nourishes us, the water that heals, the waters that nourishes plants and gives nourishment to them, so that we too may be the benefit of what comes off the plants. And the waters in which we hear in Ezekiel is an image of ultimately our own baptism, 
our own life-giving water of baptism, that we were healed, that the life-giving water was one in which took away that original sin, took away that sin to free us up to be fruitful and to bear fruit for the Lord. And today, the image in Ezekiel reminds us of our own baptism, of what was given to each and every one of us, the beginning of our faith and our belief and, and trust in God. Today, let us give thanks to God for the gift of water, but also to the gift of our baptism, that we may be faithful in living out what he's calling each and every one of us to do. For the waters are life-giving. The water of baptism is a life-giving gift to each and every one of us. God bless you. Let us place our prayers and petitions before God, our Heavenly Father. That the Holy Spirit may help all members of the church grow in love of and fidelity to Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That God may strengthen the efforts of world leaders to bring peace to their lands and prosperity to all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who suffer in mind, body, or spirit may find comfort in the shelter of God's love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all in this community who have closed their hearts to God may be blessed with the certainty of God's love for them and seek the grace to reconcile. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who have died may experience new life in the city of God with our loving Father. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all of our own special intentions, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And especially remember Basil Trophy, for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord Merciful God, true source of ever, every, every blessing, look with favor upon the prayers we offer you today. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit to the earth and work of human hands, become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands to become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may be accepted by you, Lord, and may our sacrifice be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me of my sin. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. We offer to you, O Lord, these gifts which you yourself have bestowed. May they attest to your care as creator, for this our mortal life, and effect in us the healing that brings us immortality. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us to imitate, imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray. 
by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Nelson, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep on the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. May the blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life.
body face. Let us pray. Purify our minds, O Lord, we pray, and renew them with this heavenly sacrament, that we may find help for our bodies, now and likewise in times to come. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. The Mass is ended. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the weakness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Have a nice day, everyone.
Cảm ơn các bạn đã xem video. Nếu thấy hay, hãy nhấn like, đăng ký kênh và comment để ủng hộ chúng mình nhé.